It's normally like that. I've never really hung out with my parents that much due to how much they travel for work. It's actually rare to ever see me out and about with them. There's only two people I'm close with. My best friend Olivia, who I call Ollie, and my girlfriend, Ash. I don't know what I would do without them. They're all I have. No matter how much Ash and I fight, I just love her so much that I wouldn't be able to function without her. Let alone without Ollie as well. Is it wrong to Plus, it's sort of become a normal thing for us to fight. I mean, every couple fights, just us a bit more. Everyone says I have an addiction, but I don't. Yeah, I have a few bottles here and there, but I can control myself. Therefore, not addicted. huge test tomorrow I have to study for. You never study. I know, but my mom saw that my grades are still playing. I, I gotta go now. Um, bye. Anyway, 
Okay, so how are you and Ash doing? Oh, we're doing really well. Um, she's been just studying for college. Oh, that that's great. Yeah. Um, how have you been? I noticed that you went to the beach last weekend. I did, which was kind of crazy at first. Why do you say that? I don't know. Just like seeing all these people around me made me feel self-conscious in a way. Oh, come on. You're literally perfect. No, I know. <laughs> but um, just like this feeling of self-doubt. Self-doubt? Mm-hmm. So it started when I went to go grab something from the cooler and me and my friends saw this boy, which they thought to be cute, but I, I felt nothing. Well, maybe this guy just wasn't your type. No, I know. But like, this isn't the first time I feel like this. Ollie, you good? No, of course, it was just a thought. No, it's fine. If you want to talk about this, I'm here. Anyways, um, I'm sorry for that. No, you don't have to be sorry. So I'm going to go to the bathroom and I'll, I'll be right back. It's 2.32 in the morning. What the hell are you doing here? 
I just wanted to see my bestie. Are you drunk? Me? Never drunk. Ugh. Hold on, I'll be right back. Let me get oh. you some more. I just want you right here with, with me. Just, I'll be right back. I'll... <sighs> yeah, sure, whatever. Obviously, I've never felt more alive. No, you look like you've been to a beer festival. <laughs> Ollie. Ollie, can I tell you a secret? Yeah, tell me. <gasps> that was my big secret. Why did you do that? Obviously, since you aren't into boys and all. <laughs> I, I don't even know what that means. Oh, come on. We both know you're closeted. I see the way you look at me and Ash. What? Oh, come on. You know you've always wanted it from me. Besides, now you can say you've had your first girl kiss. Okay, Kaya, you need to stop. Look at you, you're delusional, and you're drunk. Okay, look at you with Ash, that's delusional. Shut up. You're gonna wake up one day and see it. Wait, what? Give me a minute. Babe, are you okay? Why did I get a call from Ollie saying that you were at our house last night drunk? I don't know what you're talking about. Nah, oh, shut up. We both know what happened. Yeah? Well then tell me what happened if you know so well. Well, let's see. First off, you were driving drunk, and then you went around the neighborhood screaming her name, and then you kissed her! Did I miss anything? It was nothing. Yeah, nothing. It was nothing. I swear, I was drunk. I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, please, you always do this. Do what? <laughs> now you want to play the victim. What? I wasn't victimizing myself. You always want to be the center of attention. Trying in any way possible to get attention because your parents are half the time out there doing God knows what and when things go all haywire, you victimize yourself to try not to get any of the blame. I wasn't trying to get attention. I was trying my best to help her. Well, you didn't help Ollie. Actually, you made the situation worse. Wait, what? I, I don't know what you mean. You stop asking so many fucking questions like you have no idea what's going on. Maybe in that small ass brain of yours, you'll have some sense of understanding. How are you so dumb? You're literally the stupidest person I've ever met in my whole life. Ash, please stop. Kaya, shut the fuck up. I am speaking. Get that in that walnut brain of yours that you are a clueless piece of trash and anyone would be happy to not met you. I mean, you can't live a day without fucking alcohol. It's like you depend on it and everyone has to help you. You never think about how anybody else feels. Can you just stop being the center of attention for once? Well, at least I didn't cheat on my girlfriend. What? Yeah, I said it. I saw you exchanging info, texting each other, and trying to get each other's addresses and all. So you went through my phone without my permission? Because, because I don't trust you. You have sucked so much energy out of me that that is the sole reason why I did what I did. Maybe you get it in your small brain since you can't understand basic human debates without hitting or abusing the other person. No, please, you asked for those hits. And if anybody asked, they would be on my side too. No, Ash. That's not how it works. You instead be in jail. No. I can't deal with this bullshit of a person you are. Yeah. Yeah, walk away. You can't understand the amount of hatred I have for you. You make me feel like I'm worthless, like I deserve nothing in my life. You know, maybe that's the reason why I always victimize myself. Because of you. This is all your fault. Don't ever fucking say that shit to me again. Everything's fine. Everything's fine.
please pick up. Hello? Ollie, I need your help. I don't know what to do. I don't know what you want from me, and I don't really want to talk to you, especially after what happened last night. Ollie, I was drunk. I was barely aware of what I was doing. Barely aware means that you were at least aware of something, okay? I'm getting really tired of how you've been acting and how much you've been drinking. Kaya, you're addicted and you won't even realize it. Ollie, please. No, Kaya, you listen to me. Okay, you've been changing and acting differently, and I've been trying to help you, but after what happened last night, I'm done. Look, I'm really sorry about what happened. I'm sorry, and I'm really stupid, and I didn't mean to do what I did. Just please forgive me. Forgive you? You expect me to forgive you only after I brought everything to your attention because you can't realize anything by yourself. You don't realize how badly Ash is treating you. Forgive you? You had your chance to apologize and you managed to fuck that up as well. And you can have your excuses for whatever is making you act this way, but just know that the only valid excuse is yourself. You're the problem for all these mistakes. So don't just expect me to shut up and listen to whatever fucking problem we have going on right now, but just know that right now I'm done. I'm done dealing with all your bullshit. Wait, Ollie, please. Such a change. 